For more, we can cross to Cape Town and speak to our correspondent there, Nadine Theron. Uh, Nadine, what else can you tell us about this study? So this study is really the first at scale reflection of, of real world um, uh, impact of the Omicron variant on South Africans. It was conducted by Discovery Health. Um, it's the biggest medical health insurance company in South Africa who partnered up with the South African Medical Research Council and Pfizer BioNTech to see, to analyze the data that they already have. Discovery has already got data of people being hot hospitalized and vaccinated and pathology records and then they also partnered up with Pfizer, BioNTech and the SAMRC to see how the vaccinations um, are working out. So this study, it's only an analysis of Discovery's members. That means these are all people who can afford medical aid. But the good news is that it shows that the double dose of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine does protect people um, and lowers their risk um, to hospitalization to save the chances are 70 percent less that they will be hospitalized than people who are not vaccinated unfortunately it's the vaccine only protects them against reinfection um, for around 33 percent so that means your chances of getting reinfected are really high but if you've got both doses of the vaccine you probably won't be hospitalized or died um, these data um, this data also reflects what we've been seeing from the national institute of communicable diseases we have extremely high rates of COVID new infections every day. Around 24,000 new infections daily was reported yesterday. But at the same time, we haven't seen a death rate of more than 30 people per day. So even though 24,000 new infections were reported yesterday, only 24 people died of COVID. And as we know, at the moment, 90% of South Africa's COVID cases can be attributed to the Omicron variant. So there is some reason for optimism then in South Africa. Anedine, can you give us a more general update on what the coronavirus situation is like there? Yes, well, we are seeing a lot of infections. Uh, a lot of people around you are testing positive, And the stats say that, uh, you know, we have 24,000 new cases daily. 50% of these cases are still in Gauteng, not here in the Western Cape. It's where Pretoria and Johannesburg are. And what we've also seen, 75% um, of the hospitalizations are people who have not been vaccinated. So the good news at the moment is that uh, despite high numbers of infections, low numbers of hospitalization and deaths. And the extra good news for everyone today is that South Africa was finally removed from the UK's travel red list, meaning people can now fly between the UK and South Africa without having to quarantine over there. It's great news for people who want to see their families for Christmas. Very good news there. Uh, thank you very much, Nadine Theron, for that update from South Africa.